name is, well, my birth name is Margie. If you knew from high school, you know me as Margie. But um, I go by Jordan more comfortably now, I guess just for the figure that I kind of built up. Um, just this carefree, like, you know, basically what I'm about, carefree, like regardless of what, you know, society or people around you might say, you're just doing you because you choose to, like, just being true to yourself. So I feel like that, the name Jordans, for some reason, fits me better, like, when I feel like that. So I go by Jordan Bawa now. Um, a designer, I'm a DOE paraprofessional. My Instagram is jvojordan, and that's where I post, like, more of inspiration for, like, my brand's image. Like, that's where I post, like, just the overall look of, you know, the feel that I want people to have when they see my brand. And Facebook, I also use, and my page's name is Jordan Dawa. And it's like more, it's a little more personal, a little more friendly, mm -hmm. but um, both, I just, I'm more, I mainly post fashion and things that inspire me and you know, products that I'm working on. There's one huge plan that I had this year was to participate in Harlem Week. And it's like, actually, um, I live really close to where Harlem Week is. And it's just like, it's something that I've always seen growing up. I always went to the, the three day weekend and like had all the fun. And I just saw the people and the creativity, all the brown people and all the black people who just like felt that love and camaraderie. And I'm just like, wow, this is amazing. And this was the year like, wow, I'm really gonna just step up and do it. And Corona. <laughs> so yep. it, it's been tough, but also like, I'm just at a point where I'm just taking everything as a lesson, like not a loss, not a, you know, a failed plan. Like just, I'm learning to uh, go with the changes. Like, I feel like that's, that's what this is. I'm hoping at least teaching a lot of people is just to go with the changes because mm -hmm. the way we all on a global scale has to just go, like live our days by the day. Like there's no planning right now and it's just, for me, being a planner, a natural planner, I'm just like <laughs> a little, I'm a little shaken up, but it's, it's, it's in a good way. It's necessary during the pandemic. It's been like a lot, I'm actually working a lot more as a paraprofessional. So I'm getting in touch with like all these different things, um, like about myself, about the world and communicating with people in a different capacity and not just fashion, like a language that I've been used to speaking since birth. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's been real, it's been real, I can say that, but it's also been great. The challenge has been really great for growth, for inspiration in places that I never even thought. Like at my job, I worked with five-year-olds, like four or five-year-olds, like pre-K, and I love it. Like I never thought I would go in that direction, but I'm just like, wow, this is an amazing space like it it's opened up, up different parts of like my creativity and all that stuff and it's opened up like a lot more in the fashion world believe it or not like it just i don't even i couldn't have guessed it would have been but the way the way everything just plays out is just amazing the way the world changed i was actually a very person to be able to like kind of benefit from, like benefit from it in a way where I'm working a little more now, I'm getting a little more experiences, and even though it's very rigid and it's very tough and it's very demanding, um, like I'm, I, I feel like I'm fortunate in a way that I can still at least see a bright, noticing that in myself, seeing how all of this stuff, you know, around is happening, like to my own family, to people that I know, to you know, friends, families, and even people that I don't know, being able to still hold on to something and like have a light for myself and like try to have that for other people, you know, that's that's where I feel like the change really came, like for me. This this actually like really forced me to like, like look inward and you know, start kind of my spiritual journey. And it's 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 actually helped me a lot. Like yeah. it sounds so crazy, I know. it sounds so crazy, but the pandemic actually helped me, like, it really did. It has, in a way that it made me really face a lot of, like, 
self-doubt that I might have had and like any any like negative thoughts that I might have had like self-doubting thoughts that I might have had like maybe I'm not make might not make it to XYZ or might not do as well blah 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 um it really forced me to face that and I was honestly at a point where I just felt like I was almost gonna be crushed by it. like just the thoughts of like even like even the thought of me like taking the step into a spiritual journey and like not personally feeling crushed by it but like I kind of feel bad that I'm not personally crushed by it because so many like around you are and it kind of makes me feel like well you know how like how can I feel like this if all of this stuff is going on and you know that along with facing head on the things that you know for right now we're still we're in our families we're dealing with things in our families we're dealing with things with ourselves like it really forces you to sit down and take a look at yourself and your family, how you're operating in life. And like really deciding for me anyway, is this how I really wanna be? Like, is this what I really want like my life to be or our lives to be? Be all of the things that you are in life like before this happened, being a friend, being a daughter, being a sister, being all of these things. And, you know, still trying to have a peace for yourself, but you know, still having that balance. Maybe it's a combination, or maybe not a combination, but like just more than one. I've been more motivated in new areas. Mm -hmm. And like my motivation for, for like fashion hasn't been less, but I've like learned to put like a barrier up to not overdo it. Um, because like the extended working schedule during this whole month, like I never stopped working, you know, now I'm working more and then still, you know, trying to keep up. Like I had to put that barrier for myself. I mean, it gave me the opportunity to look at what I was doing and how I could be more efficient at doing what I love doing. So right. it's, it put a halt on some things, but it's not less. I just know like I'm conserving that energy for this task and I'm going to use it when it's you know it's built up and I have enough of it to sustain itself. It caused me to like guide my direction my attention in another direction. As of now I'm not currently I don't currently have a team like it's all me and you know like my mom when she can help sew a couple things or like sending my brother to the store or whatever mm -hmm. like, like most of the manpower is me and like even that I had to like look at like do I really want to be being the sole like tr like drive physical drive for this whole thing forever like no um I'm I'm like refocusing how I'm operating so when I get back to it or when but not get back to it because I've never stopped I've like kind of opened up a new avenue for it mm -hmm. and I'm building the foundation for that right now and also like making sure I'm ready as a person to handle what I'm building. Um, you know, that's that's really the two things that, you know, building my entity and building myself to handle my entity. I think it affected us by like us maybe not media wise but us really realizing that you know for a lot of our lives it kind of doesn't feel different because we're kind of in danger all the time so it's like you know it's it's not a great way to think of it but to a lot of people this is like cold you know it's just like all right i still have to work pandemic not like my kids gotta eat he's gotta be paid and he's one of them and a lot of people are panicking and what I think is very unfair about just the setup of structures that we participate in is that it's it's when you're panicking you don't really realize it but you have the luxury to panic you know we don't really have that we got to just be like all right this is going on but this got to still be done like these things still have to get done pandemic or not like life still has to keep going and we are the groundbreakers in 
we are the the backbone of just keep going like just got to get through it and we're we're I feel like we're taking a look at that ourselves I've seen a lot more sense of community um in certain instances and that is a really great that is a really great thing to see and it's it's, it's very heartwarming but just to know that you know when you when you live your life you just go on and you do your thing and you're not really realizing the current state of emergency you know just just being alive in the time because you know we kind of don't get that luxury to do it so i think i think we're probably having a little more sensitivity from one another in that respect you know like just like wow like we're really all we have so that's i feel like we're kind of having a, a sports sense of you know oh, okay you're here you're here you know it's not that bad like you know we have each other mm -hmm. honestly i'm not gonna lie. i think something is gonna happen because of how my understanding of things work and not even the world in the universe like yeah. it's a, it has to be restored and you know i'm I'm honestly I'm a big science head and I have understood the I do understand the concept of like natural limiting factors and things that the earth itself will do to heal itself and you know looking at it scientifically and just like a little rationality too it's like we we're the problem so of course the earth is going to try to restore that balance I do think this is real. I do think this is real. However, I do think it is exacerbated in certain respects, just because of, you know, money, of course. Like, you know, basically it's like, don't waste like a pandemic. You know, like it's, it's, it's a pandemic, sure, but it's always to someone a chance to make money. And I feel like that's, that money-making mindset is always just in the back of people's heads and that's what's always going to trip us up every time. Yeah. So, like, because of that, I think it's real. Like, our, our, like, obsession with this stuff that we created is, like, manifesting itself in other ways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's real. I think it's real and I think we created, created this problem for ourselves. I'm hoping we won't. I'm hoping that this will bring us in a new direction, in a better direction for more people. Um, because for us to have the sense of us getting back to where we were, it will be us going backwards. There's a lot of groundbreaking things happening as well. Like a lot of boarded up things are being knocked down now. Like we're opening up things, we're opening up conversations and allowing spaces for people to have the feelings that they have for the moment and expressing that and not just being like, okay, this is what it is, but like also us trying to move forward. And that's what the next, like, right now we're all just expressing, expressing, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And naturally the next step should be to try to work towards something where this doesn't have to make us feel this way. Like, on, on a grander scale than just this country, but just everything. Like, I hope, I hope we don't go back to the way things were because we had a lot of things that needed to be changed. And I'm hoping that this will be the catalyst to that change. I just add a message to people to always think of the circumstances surrounding your everyday situations. Like when a person is lashing out, probably the only thing they need is a kind word. Or, you know, even like kind body language, not, you know, a nasty look in return. Just like, you know, something simple that won't be so hard. Like just extending yourself and, and going that, it's not even an extra mile, the extra block. Mm -hmm. Just smile at somebody who might look a little sad or, you know, have a little conversation with someone who's, who might be alone or 
you know, like an older person, like waiting for a bus, like clearly, like, you know, wants to have some type of human interaction because that's another thing, like the, the interaction, like in person is just so diminished and like so not there anymore. It's just like, when you stop and think about it, like, wow, we really haven't touched anyone besides our families or the people we live with, mm-hmm. if that. You know, and for the people who live alone, quarantining, like, just imagine you only see a person in a square box, warmth, no contact, nothing. And, you know, I feel like it kind of makes us shift to have that warmth and that contact in other ways. Mm-hmm. It, it doesn't hurt to be nice, it really doesn't. Yep. Like, it really doesn't. <laughs> and if I feel like if, if 50%, of the people would have that mindset, we'd all be so much better. That niceness and that generosity and that caring energy will just have no choice but to spread to everyone.